Hello everyone, my name is Gothic Cowplants and welcome back to Pleasant View. Today we are finally getting around to finishing the Pleasant's house. This is actually part two of this renovation. I did, or I posted part one like around a week ago, I think, and today we're finally finishing that up. The video would have been like over an hour long if I had kept both parts together, so I did have to split them into two parts, but I think that this part, which is both of the girls' bedrooms, and then I do the backyard area and everything as well. I think this is definitely deserving of its own parts because I put so much like time and effort into Angela and Lilith's bedrooms alone. So it's definitely justified that there are two parts. Trust me. Um, I did. I spent a lot of time like cluttering and everything, and I searched for like a lot of custom content specifically like for their rooms, which is something that I kind of always did. But I mean, my point is it took me a while to finish these bedrooms. Um, and I really like the way they ended up. I'm especially proud of Lilith's room. Looking back, Angela's bedroom, I might, I might would change a little bit because as you can see, I make her room like very pink and like pastel purple, which I mean, I think it looks really nice, but Angela's color is like green in my mind. I've talked about it before, but I pretty much like color code all of my Sims and Angela's color is like green, but her room is like super girly, pink and purple. My inspiration for her bedroom was like the teenage girl bedrooms that you'd see in like movies from the early 2000s or like the 90s. I wanted it to be like very cluttered and like kind of warm and cozy. So that's what I tried to go for with her room. And I think I did a pretty good job of achieving that. Um, I utilized the vanity tables as well in both of their bedrooms which I never really use these things because, I mean, most of the time there's just not really like a clear place to put them. But I put them in both of their bedrooms and I put a bunch of clutter and everything on them as well. So I actually don't know if they can even use them. But I mean, if they can't, it's really not that big of a deal because they don't really need them. But I put those vanity tables there. And you can see... I put a lot of posters and everything in their room. Um, I had, I have a ton of like custom content posters because I've downloaded just like several recolors for a lot of the ones in game. And then also The Sims 4 um, has an expansion pack called High School Years that has a lot of really good um, decor for teen bedrooms and everything. So I downloaded a lot of conversions from that. This bed is actually a conversion from that, I believe. Um, and this dresser and this like little desk area, these are from The Sims Resource, I believe. And I gave her that little TV that's got like angel wings, and I think it's super cute on her little dresser. I don't know if she's going to be able to use it there because I don't think it's technically like actually sitting on the dresser I think I put it on like an OMSP and then just like shifted it up there so I don't know if that's actually functional but it looks cute and that's all that really matters to me and then I spent forever trying to find like appropriate clutter to put all over her bedroom um, as you can see I use like a lot of um, like practical clutter, I guess. Like she's got her little makeup stuff on her vanity and then a little hair dryer as well. And there's this little like trinket box and it, there's a jewelry tree and everything that came with high school years. So I put all of that stuff around her room. Um, I am always like in the market for more clutter and like just more miscellaneous decor and honestly all of the sims games that's like my favorite way to decorate especially with sims who like 
already live there. Like all of the Sims to pre-maids, they already live in these houses. So like they're well established there and they have been living there for presumably years on end. So I think it's a lot more fun decorating houses that like Sims have been living in as opposed to just like new houses because um, I mean, you know, realistically, if you've been living in a house for a long time, you've got probably a lot more clutter and just random junk lying around than you would if you had just moved into a place like, you know, in The Sims 3 and The Sims 4, it is kind of mainly geared towards creating your own Sims and moving them into town, whereas The Sims 2, I know a lot of people that kind of heavily focus, myself included, on the pre-maids so it's just kind of more fun to decorate their houses for me but I mean obviously decorating like homes for your own sims is fun as well but you know just a little bit harder to clutter and make it look lived in if your sims are like just moving in because it kind of I don't know defeats the realism I guess but I think my favorite type of lot to build would actually be community lots. Well, not necessarily to build, because honestly, building is not really my forte. But to decorate and furnish, I really like community lots, because you get to use, like, all of these items you'd never use in your Sims homes. Like, for example, the grocery stores in The Sims 2, like, you're never going to use those, like, freezers or anything in your actual game. And then you get to, like, decorate with some stuff that wouldn't really make sense in just residential lots. So I think that's really fun. But if you're, like, building community lots, I think it can be kind of hard to make them look good. Because in real life, everything is just pretty much, like, one big square, at least in the United States. And you have to find a way to, like make a big enough space for all of these sims to be in but you also want it to look good so it's just kind of a challenge i haven't actually decided whether or not i'm going to renovate the community lots in pleasant view i think if i were going to renovate them i'd probably just like redecorate them because honestly i do not want to <laughs> take on the challenge of rebuilding the grocery store and the clothing store and all of that. And honestly, I think the park, like Woodland Park, is pretty much fine. Like, I mean, it's just trees and like grass and a lake, so it's really not too easy to mess up, so it looks pretty much fine. But I might go in and like redo the grocery stores a little bit and like the clothing store and the video game store and all that I might go in and redo those a little bit but I probably won't film it just because I honestly don't think it would be worth filming like I'm probably just going to go in there and like put new walls and floors and stuff and recolor some stuff so I probably won't film that which means that this should be the last of all of the renovations in Pleasant View. I mean, in the future, I'm sure I'll, you know, have to renovate any houses that any of the Sims move into or build new houses. But for right now, this should be the last speed build, which I'm actually really excited for because I think, I think doing Let's Plays is a lot more fun. Um, and next time, or the next episode of my Pleasant View Let's Play, which has been forever since I actually posted, I think the next household that we're going to play is Don's, so that's going to be pretty fun because he always is getting up to all sorts of stuff. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is, I usually play like my rotations for five days at a time I believe or not five days I think it's four days because I think that's how long seasons are in the sims 2 which in the sims 3 and the sims 4 they're like seven days which I think makes a lot more sense but in the sims 2 they are four days and we also don't have holidays in the sims 2 which 
kind of sucks. But I think what I'll do is play through like four days and just kind of edit the video to cut out like all of the boring mundane stuff like eating and taking care of his needs and all of that and just put like all of the interesting stuff that goes on because honestly Don gets up to a lot of crazy stuff he is definitely a character to play but yeah I'm excited to continue the actual let's play and I'm mainly excited to get back to the Broke family. I think they're probably my favorite household in Pleasant View. Um, but they will be coming up, I don't know, in a couple in a couple of rotations. So or not in a couple of rotations, but like they're a couple households away still. So up first is Don Lothario. So that should I should be able to get that done or get that video up. Hopefully within the next two weeks, I have been kind of slacking when it comes to videos and how often I upload, and I'm really sorry about that. I've actually had like a very busy summer, which normally I just kind of sit around and like do whatever, but uh, my sister just got married this past weekend, actually, and then we've been like visiting family, and I've been finishing up school, and we're going out of but town. Let's plays take a again lot at the end of this month, to so it's kind actually of record chaotic and, and a lot going on. All of that. I mean, they take, I think, a little bit more time to edit, but they take a lot less time to actually record. And plus, most of the editing will just be like me editing out, taking care of his needs, and like through the nighttime and while while he's at work and all of that. I'll probably just skip past all of that. So that'll be pretty. Pretty simple when it comes to editing, whereas speed builds are a little bit harder because I try to go through and like cut out all of the parts that are kind of monotonous and boring. Like I'll spend like 20 minutes real time trying to choose damn wallpaper and then I have to cut that out in the speed build because nobody wants to sit there for like two minutes and just watch me choose wallpaper. But I'm really excited to start the Let's Play back up again because gameplay in The Sims 2 is so much more fun, at least to me, than build and buy, which is something that The Sims 4 cannot say. So I'm excited to start that up again and see, you know, what all happens there. And from now on, the Let's Play will be in the newly renovated houses, which hopefully is an improvement from the eyesore houses that are sims 2 base game houses i mean honestly some of the houses some of the ea builds are okay i think that the dreamer house is kind of well on the outside it's like pretty bad but on the inside i kind of like the upstairs area that they had originally in that house so i mean you know sometimes ea houses can be kind of nice or at least have some features that are kind of cool i think the house that they did kind of the worst injustice to was the goth house because for some reason specifically the bathrooms in that house like in alexander's bathroom um he's got like all of the cheapest or i don't know if he's got all of the cheapest appliances um but I know the bathtub is like pretty cheap and also the walls in there like there's just weird clashing colors everywhere and it's just not the vibe so I very much prefer um, having my sims live in nice renovated houses. Um, I know a lot of people post a lot of really good um, renovated houses online that are if not base game compatible, at least like custom content free. So if anybody is looking for, you know, any houses to download that are custom content free, I think there's probably, I think there is a database or something on Tumblr of like all of the lots renovating, renovated in the game and all of that. So I would definitely recommend browsing tumblr for not just 
um, not just like lot renovations, but for all of your Sims 2 custom content needs in general. That's where I get like most of my stuff is just from Tumblr. I've also found that Pinterest can be kind of a good place to look for um, custom content and mods and all of that. Because, I mean, you can go on Pinterest and just type in like Sims 2 CC and it, you'll see like thousands of pins and everything. And sometimes you might not see that stuff on Tumblr. And also like Mod the Sims and the Sims resource has great stuff as well. As much as The Sims resource is like the bane of my existence with all of those ads and everything and like having to wait to download your CC, they do have some pretty nice stuff on there. I apologize if you can hear like humming or buzzing or something. They are mowing the lawn right now because our lawnmower like broke in the middle of summer because of course it did. And so now we have to like pay someone with a mower to come out and mow the lawn. And there's not really any other time I can record because everybody has either been home all the time recently or I have been out of the house. I stayed at my sister's house for a couple of days. Um, so I've been like away from my PC and being able to record or edit or anything. But I'm back now and hopefully the lawnmower is not too loud. You probably won't even be able to hear it, and I'm just, like, squawking on about all of this for nothing. But if you do, that's what that is. But moving on to the actual build, instead of just yapping on and on about random things, I am putting the finishing touches on Lilith's room here, um, looking through all of the posters and everything that I have. And I put this guitar on the wall. I think this came with... I think it's called the Rhodium Teen Bedroom Set by Veronica or Veranka. Um, it's on Tumblr. And I really liked that guitar and I wanted to put it above Lilith's bed or at least like on the wall right there. And I think it looks really cute. I don't know why she would have a guitar on her wall and then a guitar also like out for her to play, but that's what I ended up doing. Um, and I also put like an, a real electric guitar over there that she can actually interact with and play. I have a guitar in the game that it looks like bones. I don't know. That sounds really weird. But it's like, I don't know, like a bone guitar pretty much. But I could never like download or I could never figure out like how to get it to work like every time I place it down it just like either disappears or the sims can't play it or something weird like ends up happening and I found it I downloaded it somewhere online and it had like a mesh that needed to be downloaded downloaded or like a mod to fix something about the animation with the guitar and I downloaded that but like it still doesn't work so I don't know what's up with that so I couldn't use the bone guitar. I had to use just the regular electric guitar. But I did download some recolors for that. So it looks pretty nice in here. It's like a dark purple. Just like her walls and everything. And then this little like llama tapestry. That came with um, high school years in The Sims 4. And it's a conversion. I put that above her dresser and I think it looks really good there. I think it's so funny. I love that thing. Um, I love just like those big like flag decorations in the game in general. I think they're a really good way to like fill up wall space and everything. And I'm putting a bunch of clutter here all over her desk and everything. And I also put, this is unrelated to clutter, but I put different color carpets in her and Angela's or in Lilith and Angela's bedrooms. Um, Lilith has like this dark gray carpet and Angela's is like a beige or like a light pink even almost. Um, because I thought it would look kind of weird in Lilith's room to have like a super light toned carpet. And then, you know, the same thing with Angela's room and like having a darker toned carpet. And I also put a little... TV in the corner of Lilith's bedroom over there. 
I don't know if she's actually going to be able to use it, but I mean, I put it over there. And then I put that, it's not a real video game console, so I mean, she won't be able to use it, which is kind of stupid, but I put that little video game console over there by her TV and then a bunch of little like DVD cases and all of that. So it looks like she's got like movies out and video games and all that because Lilith is a sloppy sim. She's very, very messy. And so she'd obviously have like clothes just thrown all over the room and just leaving all her stuff out. Whereas Angela is more like neat. She's not like super neat, but she's like more put together. So she doesn't have, I didn't put any like clothes on her floor or anything. All of her stuff is just kind of neatly tucked away in her little organized bins and boxes and dressers and everything. And then I gave Lilith this same little desk setup that I gave Angela, um, just in black, a different color. Um, and I think it looks really good. And I really like the idea of like them having like kind of the same set of furniture, but like in opposite colors. And I gave Lilith a computer this time too, because in the original house, she did not have a computer, which I think was kind of like EA's way of, you know, conveying that her parents like don't give her the attention that they give Angela. But I ended up giving her her own computer and, you know, I decorated her bedroom. It's all cluttered and everything. Um, but still, obviously, um, Daniel and Mary Sue do not treat her as well as they treat Angela. So, like, justice for Lilith always. But I did give her a very nice bedroom. So, at least she has that going for her now. So, now both of the girls have, like, very nice bedrooms and everything. And Daniel and Mary Sue obviously have a nice bedroom as well. But I also... I'm kind of wondering about where I would put a third baby if Daniel and Mary Sue had one. They probably, I mean, they probably won't. They definitely shouldn't. They probably won't. But if they do have like a band aid baby, like trying to save their marriage or something, I guess I'll have to just like shove it in like Daniel's workout room and Daniel can just like not have his workout room anymore. He can go outside and jog for all I care. I don't really care what Daniel does. Um, but yeah, if they have a third baby, we'll just have to find somewhere to shove it off in. I think it could be like kind of fun to have the girls share a room. But also I already decorated both of their bedrooms, so that's not happening. <laughs> but I kind of like the idea of Daniel and Mary Sue having like a band-aid baby to try and, you know, save their failing marriage. Because I genuinely think that they're like, you know, kind of not bright enough to believe that would actually work. Um, because they're very much like obsessed with their image and, you know, portraying like the perfect all-American family, even though they are very much not that. So let me know what you guys think about them maybe having a baby. Um, and maybe we could even play it off as like, the baby, you know, not being planned. Um, but I do think it would be interesting for them to have a third baby, specifically if it's a boy, because, I mean, then we can kind of have, like, a storyline of them having a son that, like, ends up just like Daniel because his parents, like, messed him up. <laughs> Which, I mean, that's honestly very sad, but, like, it's a game, so, it's, you know, whatever. But we're finally done with all of the bedrooms and everything now. And we're finally moving to the backyard area and everything. Um, and I gave them, I don't know if I made the pool any bigger. I don't think I actually did. But I gave it like rounded edges now. So there's that. And I also changed the flooring outside. I gave them this like, I don't know, I guess flagstone maybe or not flagstone I don't know it's stone um I don't know what kind of stone but it is stone and then I gave them like some actual pool stuff because originally there really wasn't anything for them to do um and I saved my game right there I don't know what that was or why I didn't edit it out but now we're landscaping I guess 
um, which landscaping is something that I always have just like the hardest time with. I've never been good at it and I do not enjoy it, but it's something that, you know, I mean, has to be done with every lot. And I think the landscaping in this house turned out pretty nice, but I mean, it's like a lot of bushes and flowers and everything. So we're probably going to have to have them hire a gardener because there's just no way in hell that Daniel and Mary Sue are going to be able to keep up with all these plants and everything. And I mean, Angela's hobby is nature, but I don't think that like taking care of the plants or trimming the hedges or anything actually like counts as them, you know, partaking in the nature hobby, which is kind of stupid. But I mean, maybe it does. And I'm just like misremembering, but I don't think it does. But either way, we can just hire a nanny, not a nanny. We can hire a gardener because they've got they've got the money. I don't know why the hell I was thinking about a nanny. Um, because obviously Daniel and Mary Sue are not going to come out here and like take care of the house. They barely like take care of their children. Um, Lilith is definitely not going to do it. And Angela, I don't think, can manage it all by herself. But speaking of Angela and gardening, I did put a greenhouse area outside which I mean I guess that's not like just her area but I built it with like her in mind and then I mean I think that's pretty fitting honestly for Lilith to have like a guitar just like one guitar in her room and then Angela has like a whole damn greenhouse um but I mean I guess you know they can play it off and say it's not just for Angela even though she's probably going to be the only one who ever goes out there Unless they have a third baby and that one ends up liking nature too. But that probably won't be the case because for some reason, every time like I've played the Pleasants, they always have like a boy who's like a Libra or whatever. And he ends up like becoming a romance sim um, just because like his personality is so obviously like geared towards being a romance sim. But who knows, maybe they'd have like another girl that would be like shy and quiet. And like maybe a knowledge sim or something. And this back porch area and just the backyard area in general, um, I tried to put like a lot more stuff for them to do because I was trying to build this house with the idea in mind that it's meant to be for like this perfect suburban family. So, you know, they've got the pool in the backyard and they've got all the space for the kids to run around and everything. And they've got like a a barbecue for them to you know spend time together as a family even though like the pleasant family is not going to do that um if anything they're going to come out here and argue um but i did give them like you know a nice backyard area to hang out so and uh, both of the girls are popularity sims anyway so that would be a good area to to throw parties um and like hopefully nobody drowns there's a pool ladder but I threw a party or no it wasn't even a party in the sims 3 one time I had my sims go to like the community pool for leisure day I believe and my sim drowned and I was like devastated by it because I was like 10 years old and I did not know how to undo her death so I had to like quit without saving and ever since then I've been like terrified of pools in the sims um but yeah this would be like a good area for everybody to come hang out um angela and lilith can throw parties but this pool was doing this weird glitch right there i don't know if you saw that but it had like the bright green like squares on the side of it like the tiles for when you build the pool I don't know what was going on there I had to like exit to the neighborhood and come back it was really weird but I mean it ended up fixing itself in the end I was kind of worried that it wouldn't but it did so that's fine and then I put this little tree in the corner over here which I really like I think it looks really cute um with a little I think that's like bamboo fence edge there and then I put that big umbrella which is kind of like asian inspired just like the rest of the house is and then i also put like um 
I think I put, a, yeah, I did put a seating area for them to eat. Um, but that's on the patio, which there's only three chairs there, which honestly is so fitting for the Pleasant family because, I mean, you can just picture like Daniel and Mary Sue and Angela eating out there. And then Lilith is like eating upstairs in her bedroom alone, um, which is pretty sad, but that's just the way that this family functions, unfortunately. And then here's the little greenhouse that I'm putting for Angela. This thing is going to be a pain in the ass to upkeep, but, you know, she is a nature sim, so she'll love it. Um, I was going to give her, like, a fish tank or something in her room. Maybe I did. I don't know. I don't think I did, but maybe I did. Um, but either way, if she doesn't have a fish tank, she has the greenhouse that she can come out and um, practice her little nature hobby in. And I put like a bunch of these little like outdoor decorations and everything. Um, like I said, I'm not that great at landscaping. So the outdoor decorations are just kind of like in the middle of a bunch of bushes and everything. <laughs> um, but I do think I did like kind of a better job at landscaping this house than I usually do. Um, hopefully I did. And then I put this cute little sitting area with like the benches and everything over here. Because, I mean, the Pleasants, they're not, like, rich, really, but they definitely have money for, like, the average family in Pleasant View. And I used these little stones as, like, a little walkway from the back of the greenhouse to the front, which those little stones are so cute. I love them. I used them, I believe, in the Goth house as well. And then I put a swing and like a merry-go-round out there um which i mean obviously the girls are like older now so they're not really going to play on those but again if daniel and mary sue have a third baby they can use that and i think teens can still like hang out on stuff like that so they've got a bunch of stuff to do at this house but like i mentioned in the last part i did not put mary sue's pottery wheel so that's something that they don't have to do But that is actually going to do it for this video, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. And I will see you all in the next part of the Let's Play. Goodbye, everybody.